Greetings YouTube, it's Talking Wrestling TV and with tonight's NXT TV review slash thoughts on tonight's show guys, I got off work a little late so I'm not going to go over every single match guys, but I am going to go over the most important things that happened on tonight's show. Um, well, I started off watching NXT during the opening match with Jordan Devlin defending the Cruiserweight Championship against Leo Rush. And guys, Jordan Devlin has got to be one of the best up-and-coming wrestlers on the NXT roster, guys. The man reminds me a whole lot of Finn Balor. And I just believe if WWE keeps booking this man correctly, he has potential to just go past Finn Balor, guys, in my view, and have an amazing career. Leo Rush on the other end, I hate to see him lose, guys, tonight like he did, but it was a good match. And Jordan Devlin, again, showed why he's one of the best cruiserweight wrestlers in all of North America, guys. Great showing by both men, but in the end, Jordan Devlin retained the Cruiserweight Championship on NXT. Um, we had Tommaso Ciampa come out and interrupt a supposed-to-be matchup that was supposed to go down tonight and pretty much just state during that promo that he wants his life back and the only way he's gonna get his life back and Goldie back is it can't be no more Johnny Gargano. So that just let me know right there the way that Tommaso Ciampa is thinking he's gonna put an end to Johnny Gargano once and for all at NXT TakeOver WrestleMania weekend. Also tonight, we seen Bianca Belair interrupt someone's matchup and come out and pretty much state that she's going to kick Charlotte Flair's ass. So I guess we're going to see that matchup either the night before WrestleMania, which would be a good idea, or knowing WWE, they're probably going to do it on the NXT weekly show and probably just squash Bianca Belair again, guys. But I was glad to see her come out tonight and challenge Charlotte Flair for a match. So... Let's see what happens there, guys. With the women, Becky Lynch, Charlotte Flair, even Bayley, the NXT women. Man, I don't know what AEW has going on with their women division, but the last time I checked it out, it was horrible. And WWE and NXT proving why they have the best women wrestlers in the world right now, especially in NXT and NXT UK, guys. Um, we will see the Bruiserweights tonight. Matt Riddle. And Pete Dunn will defeat Danny Burch and Arnie Lurker in a pretty good tag team matchup as well. And the Bruiserweights, well, the Bruiserweights, excuse me, guys, may be NXT tag team champions for a very long time, in my view. I don't. I hope that uh, Pete Dunn don't turn on Matt Riddle, but each and every week I see these two together it just look more and more like at any given moment Pete Dunn is going to flip on Matt Riddle. And that's the only way possible that these two men can lose the tag team titles if one or the other men split on each other, guys. That's the only way I can see it happening. Our uh, main event tonight. Well, before I get into that main event, I want to talk about Keith Lee and Dominic Dijakovic. I guess they're going to do battle again, probably on NXT TV in the next couple of weeks, guys. But tonight, Keith Lee came out and pretty much just stated that he's willing to fight anybody, guys. And Keith Lee has to be the best big man in all of wrestling right now. There's no other big man and no other company that's better than Keith Lee right now. Now to the main event with Roger Strong and the Velveteen Dream and a grudge match, guys. And it would be a battle. But in the end, the Velveteen Dream would pick up the win. And after the matchup, he paid for it because he got his ass kicked. And he got it kicked bad by the entire Undisputed Era. So hopefully this will set up Velveteen Dream and Adam Cole NXT TakeOver WrestleMania weekend for that NXT title because Adam Cole is going to lose that NXT title WrestleMania weekend, guys. It's either going to be the Finn Balor or Velveteen Dream, but after the night, it's looking more and more like it's going to be the Velveteen Dream. Guys, NXT was a pretty good show just like every NXT guys so I just wanted to come on here tonight and give you guys my quick thoughts on tonight's show we got Smackdown this Friday night with Goldberg guys what should I say Oldberg 
because he's going to be live on SmackDown. And that's probably the only thing that's really interesting that's going to happen on SmackDown. Maybe in Otis and Dolph Ziggler and their little story they have going on. But the rest of it is pretty much crap. I just hope WWE can find what to do with some of these wrestlers on the SmackDown roster going into WrestleMania, guys. It's your boy Talking Wrestling TV. Be sure to hit that like button, comment, subscribe, guys. We're on the road to WrestleMania. I'm out.